Hello, my name is Mrs. Travis Keene. I'm an educator here at the Baltimore Museum of Industry, where every Tuesday we have a program called We Workers, in which we make crafts, we color, we have stories, and we have songs. I have a friend who's going to help me today. My friend's name is Chicken Teague, and he loves to participate, don't you, Chicken Teague? You do, you like to see the little kids and hear what they're up to. Oh my gosh, you do? Chicken Teague has a joke, right? He has a couple of jokes he wants to share with us. What is your first joke you want to share today, Chicken Teague? Okay, well, that's a good one. That goes right with this month. Why is, no, what is the shortest, what is the shortest month in the year? That's what you're asking, what's the shortest month? Okay, I don't know. What is the shortest month? I thought they are all pretty close in days, day or two off. What's the shortest month, Chicken Teague? May, because it has three letters, right? M-A-Y. Good job. Good thinking. <clears throat> what other joke have you got for us? What? Why is the letter A like a flower? Boy, that's a tough one. Why is the letter A like a flower? It's not shaped like a flower. And that's interesting that you said that because we're going to do some things with flowers today. Why? I give up. Why is the letter A like a flower? You tell me. Oh, <laughs> because a bee comes after it. Oh, you are so funny. <laughs> I'll remember that one, Chicken Teague, very good. Well, we, we have a treat today. We have two books, actually. One book is very short. I think you're gonna like it. It has to do with May and spring, and it talks about how things grow. And then we have another book that's a little bit longer, too. Yes, today we're gonna concentrate on spring, and we're gonna talk a little bit about um, the Baltimore Orioles, which is a baseball team. Yes, do you like baseball, too? You do. Do you, do you know how to play baseball? You do. Oh boy, you're good. I didn't know if you knew how to play. Well, let's sit back and listen to this story. This first story is called How Things Grow. I think you're going to like it, Chicken Teak. <clears throat> How Things Grow by Eric Carls. How Things Grow. It's a short book. Oh, look at this. It says egg. Look at that. There's an egg, Chicken Teak. What do you think? Oh my gosh, chick. So a chick grows from an egg, for heaven's sakes. This says acorn, acorn. What do you think grows from an acorn, chicken tea? Oh, an oak tree, and we have oak trees around, don't we? An oak tree grows from an acorn. Oh, look at this one, tadpole. What do you think grows from a little tadpole? Look at this little guy. You might see him in a pond somewhere around. A frog. A frog grows from a tadpole. Look at that. Oh, look at this. This is a bulb. This is a, this is a bulb. Look at that. What do you think grows from a bulb? Ooh, a tulip. Look at that tulip. Isn't that striking? Red, your favorite color, chicken tea. <laughs> this says seeds. What grows from seeds? Little seeds are tiny, aren't they? Someone said a seed, planting a seed is like planting a promise. Oh, look at this. Radishes. Radishes, look at those. Radishes are good to eat, aren't they? They're good vegetable. Good vegetable. What else? Oh, there's more. Pine cone. What do you think grows from a pine cone, chicken tea? Ah, a pine tree. Look at that. Well, look at this, for heaven's sakes. Caterpillar. I wonder what grows from a caterpillar. I thought a caterpillar was finished growing, a little animal. No? What grows from a caterpillar? Ah, look. A beautiful butterfly. You might see some butterflies this time of year. Things grow. This is the time of year when things grow. If you have an opportunity, you might want to plant some seeds. Here is a little yogurt cup that I decorated with markers. You can use something like this to plant some seeds and see how, if you have little seeds, have some little flowers growing at your house, put that on the windowsill. If you go to our website, to our page, our homepage, there are coloring pages. Here's one coloring page. 
it has flowers on it. And what I did with that coloring page is I colored it, but I also glued it to a stiffer piece of paper because you can make an, a puzzle out of this. You can use this coloring page to make a puzzle. What you do is you draw lines across the, your picture, however you want your lines to be, and then cut on those lines so that you have puzzle pieces. You can make your very own puzzle out of a coloring page. Well, we have another story we're gonna to read today. I think you're gonna like this story. This is about a little bear who wants to find friends to play with. It's called Bear's New Friend. Bear's New Friend. The weather is getting nice. He wants to go outside and play. I can't blame him, can you? I bet you guys wanna go out and play too. There he is. This is by Karma Wilson, Bear's New Friend. Boy, here he is. He's coming out of the lair, way over there, for his house where he lives. Bear's new friend. Here he is. In the woods in the sun on a hot summer day, Bear feels an itching it to head out and play. He wants to go out and play. I don't blame him. He goes to find Mouse, his littlest friend, but just as Big Bear heads round the bend, there's a clatter in the tree. Oh, what could it be? And the bear asks, who? We're going out to play. Whoops. And he hears something. Not sure what it is. Bear calls. Is that Mouse who hides in the tree? But Mouse scurries up and squeaks. It's not me. See, can you see the little mouse there on the rock? Bear scratches his head. Who's hiding up there? Ma Mouse shrugs his shoulders. Perhaps it is hair, he says. Perhaps it is hair. They're thinking maybe it's their rabbit friend. You think? Could be. Mouse starts to shout. Come out, friend, come out. And the bear asks, who? They're looking. Look, there's a bee right there. A little tiny bee. Nobody answers. Who is it? Ask Bear. They peek in the tree, but nobody is there. Bear cries, no one's here. But where did they go? Then Hare hops along and says, hidey ho. Can you see the rabbit? The hare. He says, hidey ho. Something sped past going fast, fast, fast. And the bear asks, who? Something went by very fast. Do you see the little mouse on bear's head? I think they're good buddies. They're good buddies. Hare says, let's go follow to see what we see. Bear says, is it Badger? Who else could it be? But there by a log with gopher and mole, Badger is peering into a deep hole. They're looking into a hole. They don't see anyone, but they have a feeling that there's somebody, somebody down there. Come look if you dare. There's something down there. And the bear asks, who? Who could it be? They're looking, who? Bear says, it's not us, but who is it then? I know, says Bad Badger. It's Raven or Wren, but Raven and Wren flap down from the sky. We saw all our friends and thought we'd fly by. So it's not Raven and Wren. Look, here they are, here they come. See the big Raven, how black he is, a little Wren, little brown Wren, aren't they cute? Isn't he cute? Hmm, this is interesting. Up from the ground comes a rustling sound, and the bear asks, who? What? There's something in that hole. There's something in that hole. They want to know what, what is in that hole. Who 
are you down there? Who is it, I say? Why stay in that hole? Why hide the whole day? Why don't you like us? Why, 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 why? Then a trembling voice says, because I'm shy. He's shy. Do you know what shy means? Shy means you're not very confident. You're not very uh, good about being in front of people. You're a little bit shy. You're just, you're just not quite sure. Two eyes peek-a-boo, and the voice says, who? And the bear says, hi. The bear's nice and friendly, right? He's not going to be scary. There's nothing to be worried about. These guys are all friends. I want to see who else this is. I'm bear, Heidi Ho. That's mouse, and that's hair. And gopher and mole are standing right there. Next to those bushes sit raven and wren. Come swimming with us in the pool by the glen. Please do not hide. Come on outside. And then, what happens then? See, they're saying, come on out and play with us. It's a nice day. We want to meet you. And Owl says, hoo, hoo, hoo. Do you see the owl there? There he is. The owl is the one that was in the little hole down there hiding. He says, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hello, I'm Owl. Do you see him right here by my thumb? And I'm sorry I hid. I'm just a bit bashful, and that's why I did. Bear says, hello, friend. Come on, cries Mole, and they all scamper off to the old swimming hole. So they want to invite him to come and play. Come and play. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. We'll tell you what we're doing. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time. They splash and they have fun in the hot summer sun with Bear's new friend. Look at them all. Oh boy, they're having a good time, aren't they? Can you see? Let me hold it up one more time so you can see. All these good friends having a good time. Well, and get, again, there will be a time when you'll be able to get out and play with your friends. Again, if you go on our website, there are some fun activities for you to do. There are some coloring pages that look like this. Here's one with baseball mitt and baseball, and you can color these and cut them out and make a matching game out of these as well. There's other coloring pages too, and you can work on those. Here's, a, here's an example of some of the coloring pages you can find on our website. I hope you had a good time. I hope to see you again. Do take care.